Yabu. He knows we're hunting Horcruxes. Harry and Hermione and Ron suspect there's a Horcrux in Bellatrix Lestrange's vault. Let's find it, kill it, and they were one step closer to killing him. And they've got to try and find it without anyone recognising them. At the end of Hallows Part 1, there's a shot of this hair falling off Bellatrix Lestrange's head. And then the beginning of Part 2, we realise she's still got the hair. And she can use it in Polyjuice form. Are you sure that's hers? Positive. Hermione takes Polyjuice potion to become Bellatrix so she can break into Gringotts Bank. How do I look? Hideous. And Harry's under the invisibility cloak. And Ron's just disguised. I quite enjoyed all those scenes where we were all kind of disguised. It's a full beard, and they darkened my eyebrows. They just had all this gothic kind of robes. <laughs> I walked down to set, like people I've not known for like seven years and just walked past me. I didn't have a clue who I was. No, I didn't have to recognize her at first. I was like death into it. Madam Lestrange. Good morning. Good morning. Bellatrix is strange, not some dewy-eyed schoolgirl. Rather than putting Emma Watson in hours and hours and hours of Helena makeup, they said, well, you pretend to be Hermione pretending to be Bellatrix. I wish to enter my vault. Hermione just wouldn't want to be Bellatrix. She hates her. Hermione is just such a good human being <laughs> that to try and be mean to everyone doesn't come naturally to her at all. I don't like to be kept waiting. David really wanted me heavily involved in helping Helena really become me. Basically, I got Emma to do everything. I wish to enter my vault. We filmed her and then I copied it. And then I got lots of notes, homework, how to be a mind. She's one of those actors that as soon as they hit action, they just change. <gasps> Not just in terms of their character, but physically. You could see the awkwardness of Helena's expression. I've, of course, I've always wanted to play Hermione. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't ask me in the first place. I know she's an imposter. It's pretty hair-raising pretense. She gives us away. We might as well slit her own throat. She is terrified of getting her. 